Hello everyone, and welcome to Five Nights at Wario's Deluxe. This came out yesterday as of recording, and I'm gonna try beating the whole thing. So, basically this is all the same as before. Um, I move... I moved my face cam because, if I remember right, the power's up in that corner. Basically, this is a re an official remake of FNA 1. There once was a man named Wario who worked alone along with a friend of his at Wario's own fast food factory. This is going to be the same as before, I'm sure. One day, however, the two men went missing, and they were never found. Since that day, the factory has been closed due to people thinking the factory was cursed. Seven years later, the government decided to reopen the factory and start the production again. So yeah, that's exactly the same as before. One man has gotten a job as a guard during the night. Yep, exactly the same as the original. This is a remake, so I should expect it. They should keep the same story. Oh, this plays... Hello? So much oh, better. I'll call you Widget, if that's okay with you. I'd like to welcome you to Wario's fast food factory. Richard. Okay. Oh, this I'm is. James, by the way. I feel the like they changed the layout really slightly. I like to code video games as a hobby. Although I'm unsure if I'm really good at coding video games, I at least <laughs> love doing it, you know? I think I they changed phone calls slightly. Something big. Something that affects people, you know? I hope I can put my video game coding to good use one day. But I was fortunate to be one of the minds behind the reopening of this factory here. That's something I'm very happy about. But anyway, enough about me. Welcome to Wario's Fast Food Factory. Okay, two things can be on at a time. Future, as we like to say. It's back in business, much thanks mm. to your father, in fact, who invested so much and really kickstarted okay. this entire reopening. I don't remember Wario, the whole phone calls of the first... He, he died uh, seven years ago, you see, back in 2007. Tragic uh. stuff. This factory closed off then following that tragic event, as you may know, but now it's back in business. It grew popular due to a unique secret recipe for fast food that Wario used, so <laughs> you bet we're using the very same one. Now you've been hired as a night guard in the factory. The job is quite simple. Be glad you're not here during the day shift, I tell you, where all the machines have to be operated and all that stuff. All you really have to do is to keep an eye on things. Yeah. It's vague, I know, but it, it's not that much more to it, really. You're currently sitting in the main office of the factory, and seeing as the place hasn't been used for many so years... So there's, like, a longer delay on pushing the these the buttons. Has everything remained intact? It's hard to say. That's why you need to remain in your uh -huh. office and watch over the factory using some... So, Wario comes here with Waluigi, and Luigi and Peach here, unless they change stuff. Then Mario just spawns. Okay, pretty much. You only have so much power at your disposal at night, however. Try not to use all of it. Having that camera pad open drains some of that power, but even worse... Is the door to your left and the control room window to your right. As you have probably seen, we have installed some buttons you can use for hmm. each one of them. The red buttons will bring down strong metallic doors, and the white buttons will trigger lights in the respective doorways. Keeping these doors down drain quite a lot of power, as do having the door lights active. Eh. Please, only use these when you need to. So it's the same as you before. To, you might wonder. Well, there have been rumors going around for years that this recipe that Wario was using that, and that we are using now was quite interesting to money hungry thieves back in the day when the factory was up and running. So the doors, the lights. That phone call is so long. Really. 
mandatory precautions, that's all. No worries. Just keep an eye on the camera pad, yeah? Otherwise, you should be good, I think, yeah? We are very excited for this new era of the Warriors brand. So, have a good night, Richard, and I'll give you a call tomorrow. Okay. Well, power drain starts now. I'm pretty sure Wario and Waluigi spawn there. Yeah, there they are. Also, hopefully my face cam isn't covering power fully. Like the number. Because it might be. Otherwise, it's to the side enough. Wait, where did Waluigi go? Where did he go? Oh. Can you just sit in a hallway? Or do they have to always be on camera if they aren't in the doorway? Oh. His path is different. I think. I don't think he went that way before. My guess is he goes here. Yeah, he's going here. I'm going to need to save power. Wario is coming. They're both almost here. This looks so much better than the original, though. Uh-oh. How do I know if Waluigi is gone? Does he just reset? Okay, he's gone. I think they reset. Yeah, they do. Oh. Okay. I have a decent amount of power. I think there was a achievement for winning in a blackout, so I might just try doing that on night one, since it's the easiest night so I have the most chances of getting late into the night. I might just run down my power a little. Probably to around half for now. Can he move in if the light's on? Okay, I guess that's good enough for now. Okay. I'm 
going to want to run down power a little more. At 5 a.m. now, I think I start just letting it go down big time. And then use cameras the rest of the time. Just so it drops a little faster. Come on, Wario. Oh, Wario did a reset. And now at one. I should hit six soon. I don't think nights are too long. Yeah, there we go. Easy achievement. Okay, now for night two. I might try finishing this game for this video, but if this game gets super hard, then I might not. Hi there, James here again. I heard you did good last night. Well done, Richard. Remember? Yeah, I used up all your power. Tell us about it, yeah? We don't want another uncomfortable incident, like... Um... Anyway, I, I heard what happened to Wario and Waluigi? Well, the original owner, Wario, you know, businessman, he was kind, yet he wasn't free of greed and stress. But, honestly, who are, really? He was clever, and he had that boss-type personality, you know? It was him and his business partner, Waluigi, who started this factory, and the Warriors brand as a whole. What about Mario, Luigi, and Peach? Him being known as the sidekick, kind of, or as the less interesting one. But Waluigi is said to have been good with words. Charming, convincing, clever, but also insecure. Living in his friend's shadow, putting Wario in front of himself. You know, a people pleaser. That's how people described him. But also a people knower, apparently. He knew how to convince mm -hmm. people, getting them to agree with him. That's probably why Wario chose him to be his business partner. Okay. The two of them made a good team, apparently. I do not this remember if cafe. these were original to the, the, 80s, you see, the late 80s. other... To the original. And that's also where the secret recipe of his found its footing and grew popular. They closed it mm. off fairly quickly for unknown reasons, actually. And the two men began in the video game industry instead a few years later. In 1990, I think it was. WarioWare Incorporated. Wow. I've heard of it. It was quite a spectacle. And the ideas and products from there were impressive, to say the least. However, people called the place haunted. Rumors has it that even Wario himself claimed the building felt off. And WarioWare actually partly burned down a few years ago. That's where the second game happens. It must have been an electrical fire, I guess. But that's when they were able to found their third establishment, which was this very fast food factory. Wow. It was a lifelong dream of Wario to build this factory, and finally it was up. And things were going well until, you know, I told you the owner died. But that's not quite the entire story. He, Waluigi, along with... These phone calls get a little boring. ...completely disappeared one day. Gone. Nobody found them. Heard from them. Nothing. 
People had claimed to get strange vibes from the factory since day one, and the disappearance of these five didn't exactly lighten those rumors up. Some have even used the word cursed when describing this place. So what happened to them exactly? We, we don't know for sure. But I've talked long enough for tonight, Richard, I'm sorry. I just thought I would let you in more on the details of the past of your workplace, you know? I'll, I'll let you get back to work, and I'll talk to you tomorrow night, yeah? Okay. Um... This night will be Wario, Waluigi, and maybe normal Luigi. I have no idea where normal Luigi starts, though. I think he starts on Cam 9. At least now I can just save power and not do close calls like that last, like, night one. Where is Waluigi? Oh, Luigi starts Cam 7, I guess. Oh wait, I meant Cam 8 before, I guess, since... That's what that camera is, I guess. Wait, Luigi teleports. Also, why is he in there? Can he go to... Does he go right or left, I mean? Okay, L Luigi's still there. But both of the other two, they're both at, or going to doors. He's gone. He should be gone, yeah. Here comes Luigi. I guess he's going right still. Oh, I've I think they added cams they can enter though. But now what camera will Luigi respawn at? Okay, I need to watch the cameras some. Um, make sure Wario doesn't get me. Three AM though. They did change designs slightly. Get that open. Because of, yeah, the doors take up so much power. Where's Luigi? Oh, still there. Okay. 4 a.m. And I have a lot of power. Oh, 
Oh, Luigi goes to both doors. Good to know. Luigi needs to go away. Hopefully, Luigi just resets to Cam 7. Yeah. So, if I watch those cameras, I can see when they move. Like, Cams 9 and 1. Because those go static when someone leaves the door or window. Okay, there we go. 50% left. Or about 50 at least. Well, now for night three. I kind of want to see what the other achievements were, but I think they were basically the same as before. So I don't really need to yet. What does this? Wait, what? New cameras? Oh. That takes. Power. Oh. Yeah. There. This is definitely new dialogue. I don't think you'd hear footsteps or singing from bats or singing from animals. Okay, I'm not gonna use the lamp. So, I assume I need to listen. Listen if their microphones pick up anything of interest. Listen for a few moments, though, before you break yeah. up with nothing. For all we know, if there should be something down there, it can take a few seconds before anything moves at all. In addition to that, because the cameras are so far on the ground, there might be some audio delay from the cameras and to the pad you're holding. So, based okay. on what you heard today, and what some people heard, just to be sure, listen for a few seconds. Listen if you can hear anything that resembles walking, footsteps, singing, anything mm -hmm. like that. And if you don't hear anything for two, three, four seconds, 
I'm sure it's good to go. And give the lamps down there a big flash if you hear something, okay? We don't really want anyone breaking in, so be careful though. We're, we are on a tight budget as well, so electricity at night is still limited. So here's the deal. Flashing those lamps down there, it, it drains quite a lot of power. If hey. There is no movement detection in that room. So therefore, please use those flashes sparingly. Only use them if you oh, have so it only drains room, okay? if there's nothing? We don't really want you to suddenly sit there okay. in the darkness for half a night with no power left. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. I'll, I'll update you tomorrow. You can stop talking room. now. Good night. Yeah. Goodbye. Shush. Good. Now. Okay. So, I'll need cameras more. Fun. I assume there's some way of me telling if something's down there, though. Wait, so does that mean new character, or did they put Peach or Mario down there? Oh, Peach. I think it's Peach. I'm going to assume it's Peach. Where's the Luigi? Is he in Cam 8 or still Cam 7? Oh, Cam 7 still. I assume Peach moves and then I hunt for her on the cameras. Where's Luigi? Okay, there. He's there. I messed that up. I'm probably gonna die. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't get this.
Luigi's there too? Okay. Peach. I figured out Peach. Pretty sure she just sings. to conserve power. Got her. Oh no. Wasted a little bit of power. Okay, now that I understand Peach, this will be a little easier. She has a decent... Kill, like, a decently long kill timer. Oh, okay. He's there. Uh, Peach. Just open that. Hey. 
Gryffindor. I used way too much power. That's gonna kill me on later nights, probably. On to night four, though. It's doing pretty well. One death to Peach while learning what she does. I assume Mario comes out next. But we'll see. Yeah, Mario. That's definitely Mario. Good evening, Richard. I hope you're well rested and I assume he works the night. same though. I I talked to a co-worker again today about your situation as the night guard and everything. And you know, okay. she uh, she insisted that you had the right to know more about this place. Yes, I do. Of course you do. So, if I'm working here, I deserve to know. So after the three establishments, the cafe, the microgame company, and this factory, the owners and the workers disappeared in 2007, as I mentioned, but it has been rumored that a thief may have been responsible for the disappearance. It is said he was breaking into the factory to steal oh, wow. a secret recipe, you know, that I mentioned to you. Based on witnesses, um, the fact that Wario's mascot costume is still missing. It was a costume it itself, is? pretty much. A, a big costume, pretty much, that he used for ma yeah, mascot purposes, commercials and stuff. And <laughs> we still haven't found it yet, even seven years later now. Based on that, it is... Sounds like someone stole it. ...hypothetical thief used this very costume. Because it is said that the thief, he took the lives of the five in the process. Actual murders, you know? But as I mentioned, yeah. no bodies has ever been found. We do not know for sure if the thief killed them, or if something else happened, because the thief himself also disappeared, never to be seen again. Hmm. Six I'm sure he's people, alive. Richard, it's all a mystery. The thief is speculated to have been a man named Bruno. Bruno Gates, to be exact. Uh, he, I mean, the only evidence we have for that is his wife, uh, Dolores Gates, I think her name was. She reported her husband missing Give around me the time of this incident. The Easter so, egg. You know, you can make the connection that maybe it was the same guy. Of course, these are only rumors, yeah? But if we're being now, honest, tell me that Mario's a thing. was installed in her office in the first place. We don't want anything like that to happen ever again. I hope this won't scare you away, yeah? So we did oh, I'm not coming back the after the last night. Quite, quite, quite literally, actually. There are depths of this cellar that are unsafe and they are blocked off. Presumably by Wario nice. himself when he was alive. But we found remains of Wario, Waluigi, and the three known factory employees. You found their bodies? Lunch boxes, oh, okay. Life. That stuff. As for the employees that went missing, being two brothers named Mario and Luigi, and a woman named Peach, we haven't found that much of interest yet. However, we tried reading through some of the diaries from the two owners, or at least what's left of them. The diaries are all torn up and dusty, and okay. much of the ink can't even be read anymore. But we did manage to make out some of Wario's latest entries in his diary, where he, 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 had, he basically what? talks about how he's very happy with the, the status of the factory. Okay. And according to a line here, it is much thanks to the insane profits they made from WarioWare, as he writes, which allowed them to invest much more money in this factory. While Luigi's diary was interesting for me personally, it seems like the two of us Why had a though? similar experience. With what? A certain type of dream, to be exact. Uh. You can understand my surprise, I'm, I'm sure. This factory is quite strange. You're Waluigi. Or is that just me? You're that just a, Waluigi. A subtle wind that doesn't feel familiar is blowing through these corridors. I wonder if your father too felt the same when he... Tell me about Mario. Or if it's all just in my head. It's late now. Tell me about Mario so I can... Forgive me, Richard. Go on. 
Tell me if you have any questions, yeah? Have a good night. What about the computer? It's on. Wow, don't even mention the computer. Sure. Try to get me killed. Well, too bad. I already know how this works. Uh, what? Does Mario just make his way here? Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Basically, I need these cameras in the basement. Or cellar or whatever. Luigi might be coming to this side. Oh, they're both in there. I kind of want them to move in now. Okay. Here we go. Things start picking up soon. Luigi. I missed. So he forces down the cameras when he spawns. Okay. I don't want to know what that was. Yeah, well, I'll be back around like 3 a.m. or so. I really hate Peach. Her sound cues are so weird. I can't hear them half the time. I don't know if that's just my volume or what. Okay, where's Waluigi? There. Go away. I shouldn't have done done the light. This is harder just because of Peach. Like really. I'm dead. Does I stall her? 
No, it does not. Do I power out? I think I power out. I'm panic power outing now. It's not worth the risk of dying now. Especially when power outs are pretty generous. Or at least my first one was. Ah, uh, why Wario? Give me six. Good. I'm going to give Night 5 one try. Because I've been playing this for like an hour. I got stuck on Night 4 for like 20 minutes because of heat. Mostly. Since Peach is mean, her sound cues are so hard to hear. Especially if it's footsteps. Because the footsteps evening, can just James. blend in. Listen, I'll, I'll get straight to the point. Um, I don't know if you've seen anything of that which I'm now referring to. But I've seen I probably them. have. So earlier today, uh, my eyes have seen things I still cannot comprehend. Uh, there are what did you see? These walls. <clears throat> faces. One face in particular, Richard. I'm, I'm not trying to scare you. Oh, I think I saw that. I think it's an Easter egg. Anything in fear of losing your job. I don't know. Sorry to dump all this on you. I just got a feeling I cannot shake off. A feeling of deep, deep dread. Maybe there's a reason no one has bought this piece of land before Warren did. Thinking about it, I, I don't even know if anyone else than him were ever allowed to buy this land for some reason. I called an old friend of mine. I, anyway, anyway, I st I st Who did he call? About what I was seeing and the story about the factory and everything. So I, I did, called an old friend of mine. A guy who helped Wario set up his first cafe back in the 80s. I got curious to know more, you know? The horrific story from this factory, the things I saw today, the unfortunate set of events in the brand's past. Clearly, there has to be more to Wario than we originally thought, right? Like so what? My friend, he, he told me that he too, in fact, had seen things uh, back in, in Wario's original cafe. Strange, unexplainable phenomenon. People are hunting Wario. But with the rumors of the, the ghost is hun was hunting Wario. Incident in 2007. The strange vibe we get from this place, the sightings I had today, the old cabins below this place. You Wait, I think I got that Easter egg in the original version of the first game on my playthrough. You can trust me. To know there is something strange about this factory. It doesn't feel right at all. I'm on my way over to you right now, in fact. Why? I'll take the night shift alongside you tonight, okay? I'll be no. very soon. <laughs> you ever oh, wait. Richard? Like, uh, um, like the air feeling off, the wind is haunting. Didn't he lock have me I in in the before? first game? Have, have we been here before? This dream. This I feel like he did on the first one. 
has this. Okay, there's those two. I feel like sometimes people just completely disappear from cameras. Peach is down there. Each moved. Come on, Wario. Okay, Wario, can you move? Good. Good job, Wario. Where's Luigi? There, okay. Well, Luigi's gone. Wario's coming. Open, get peach. Yeah, figured Waluigi would have been gone by now. I missed the button. It's been like a month since I played this. I've been putting off recording or editing and uploading this video because I've been wanting to beat this. I'll need to keep an eye on Peach. Peach is about to go.
I get how Peach works, I just don't know how you... Like, what her sounds are fully. That was just Waluigi going with. Whoops. I forgot about Mario. Oh. Wario. It's approaching. Oh yeah, I have a lot of power left right now. Nope, wasn't gone. Oh, now he's gone. Make sure I don't miss anything. Where's Luigi? Is he coming to that door, maybe? Yeah. Luigi's in the door. Okay. Get him. While Luigi's still coming. Luigi. Oh, he's gone. Wario's gone. Oh, I have plenty of power. Okay, I should be fine to leave that one door shut for the rest of the night, really. Okay. Yay! Night 5 finished. So, do I get custom night now? Or is it a night six? Oh, the exit. The guy didn't come to get me, though. That kind of looks weird, honestly. 
But also cool that it's animated. They added that from the original. This game is pretty good. Definitely better than the original. Okay. I want Wario's 2 Deluxe. Because all, like, the original five games are getting remade. I still need to play through Origins 4 and 5 shows. Wait, so 6 games. Luigi? That's definitely the dead one. Uh, okay. Okay. Does that mean something else is here? Is there gonna be like a sixth or seventh game or something at the end? That would be cool, but probably isn't needed. Custom night bonus and final night. Okay. Um. Achievements, though. I need to complete all out, so all 20. Jump scared by everyone. Complete final night and find Wario Man, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've died to these two. I've died to her, I've died to him. I think it might be Luigi I need to die to. Come on, Luigi. I haven't died to someone else, I guess. Maybe it's Waluigi, because I think I've died to Wario. Oh, let's go Waluigi next, I guess. Here we go. Next is Wario. And that should give the achievement, unless Blackout Wario counts. I think Blackout Wario counts. Oh wait, Final Night might actually have different jump scares. Okay, well, we go Final Night now. Okay. What? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, Reset great. Power? Well, welcome to Wario's, your new summer job. You are actually the first person to to work on this location as a night guard after reopening, so we really hope you enjoy your new job. You may have heard the rumors about an incident that happened about seven years ago, but you really shouldn't worry much about that. What? Your job here is pretty simple. Check the security cameras to make sure no one breaks in, no malfunctions happen to the machines, you know, uh. basic stuff. You can also close the doors on both sides of your office, as well as turn on the lights in those rooms. It will cost power, however, so tr try to avoid it as much as you can. These are just safety precautions only. This is a repeat. no need to worry at all. There are, however, a few complications that we need to go through. We are in the also, why can I see in here? Opening. Our budget is tight, proper installations, uh, they take longer than we thought, and therefore some of the technology here is a bit unstable. All cameras have a tendency to malfunction. They slowly go corrupt. Some wire stuff, I guess. Don't ask me, it's not my 
my area of expertise. But if you take a look at one of your cameras on the pad, you'll see that camera's status. If it's normal, then it's neutral. Okay. But if it's listed as unstable, it is starting to malfunction. So you should keep an eye out of that on all the cameras. You should reset the camera immediately. If you see this, you can do that through your pad as well. If a camera is left on ah. unstable for too long, it will enter a critical status, where it will start to repeatedly drain big chunks of power at once. Okay. If it reaches unstable, and especially critical, you need to reset the camera immediately. Otherwise, power supply will be quite an issue for you. The doors here are also finicky. It's an overheat error from the engineers. They promised to fix it, but they haven't done so yet, apparently. Basically, the thing is, when one of the doors in your office is shut down, not only will it drain uh. power as normal, but there is an overheat meter in front of you there that that meter will start to go up even faster if both doors are shut down. Logically, you don't want that meter to peak, so should okay. that happen, it will screw the doors up. That goes the doors so will fast. Unusable for a while, and your limited power will take a huge hit. Be careful. The meter will cool down again when the doors are up, so try not to keep them down for too long. Okay. I think that's all. Sorry if I sound uh, unengaged or drowsy. I've had trouble sleeping lately, haunted by dreams of terrors I cannot remember when I wake up. And the weird thing is, that feeling of dread, it doesn't go away. It's still mm. with me now, while wide awake. Like an intuitive feeling of something bad that's going to happen. Here it is. Have I'm going to get attacked that? here. Sorry, this is Wario and everyone will come at me. Also, why did Luigi like pass work. out I'll in this room? Tomorrow is another day. Like his ghost just left his body. Well, why is Wario in there? Why is Wario there? Is this a boss fight? Basically, I'm gonna need to... ...be constantly looking at everything. Pretty sure he makes cameras unstable when he leaves the room. Let me 
maybe at least. Oh wait, it was that one. It's 3 a.m. I don't want to stay in the office too long. Pretty sure I win now. Oh, it's done. Okay, that wasn't that hard. Okay, cool boss fight though. Interesting how you need to look through every camera to keep track of him and to fix the cameras. Uh... I'm not gonna have time to read all of this, will I? Um... So basically this is saying Waluigi has been having nightmares and is kind of jealous of Wario. And that's basically all it said. Wait, did the place get demolished or blown up or what? I bet it got blown up. That's what it sounded like. It 
sounded like it exploded at a couple times during the 4 and 5 a.m. Well, now I need to get jump scared by that thing. And then... That's basically it. Until I do max mode, just because to finish out the game. Here we go. Final jump scare. Okay, now we just have one more. Oh wow, different game over screen. Oh wait, two more. We need to find... Wario Man in the bathroom camera and... Be all out. But I'm not doing either of those in this video. So, that was all of Five Nights at Wario's Deluxe. So if you enjoyed it, the video, please leave a like and also please subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.